Good morning, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Welcome back, my dear friends. Thank you for all of your prayers. Just a reminder, we have a new prayer card, and I'll be taking down your names. And if you continue week after week to remind me, that's okay, uh, because we will pray for you until you're healed. We will pray for you each and every week, but sometimes I just need to be reminded so I don't forget to pray for, for your names, your family members, whatever. So God bless you. Thank you for those uh, uh, comments, those kind comments. Please remember the thumbs up as you listen. Um, we are facing some headwinds here on the channel, which you know, I'm just sharing that with you so that you might pray. Um, the enemy just doesn't like the word of the Lord going out, does he? So he's going to just irritate me. <laughs> and so anyway, God bless you. I wanted to remind you, I'm still, uh, you know, uh, if you send in a donation to uh, through the channel, you know, through the mail there in the comment section, you're, you'll see our mailbox. I'm going to bless you with a Kona coffee. I lived in Hawaii 25 years. And so I love my Kona coffee. So I'm going to bless you with that or so Hawaiian tea. And that way, instead of paying uh, the devil here on this platform, I will bless you as you bless me. The circle, I call it the circle of blessings. Amen. And then those that it's so convenient to, you know, donate on the super thanks in the comments section. I do appreciate every dollar that I receive. I, I am on a limited income. So God is so good to me. God's good to all of us. Amen. He just takes care of us. And so anyway, today I have a very awesome word. There's a lot in this word. Uh, embrace me, my child. Embrace me, my child. So you can see how beautiful this word's going to be. I'm telling you, church, he just is even doing more in my life. You get closer to me. You pray more. You cling to me. You let go of this, Jackie. You let go of that. Um He's just impressing me to cling to him because, church, um, I think with everything that's coming our way, uh, we've got to cling to our God as never before. And he's doing it in my life. I share it with you. Uh, this word, you know, speaks of it. So I'm going to share the scripture with you today. Um, I also wanted to remind you, we I know in my spirit, we're going to be removed from this platform this year. I believe the Lord. I can't stop thinking about it. I know the Lord's telling me this is coming. So I will be continuing my writing through the mail once a month. You will get several messages, as many as I can get on a piece of paper. So send your addresses in to me. And um, you can do that as you donate to the channel. That would be a blessing. Everybody that donates, I'm collecting your addresses uh, one of our viewers have donated envelopes I'm saving now for stamps, which 100 stamps for U.S. Postal is, uh, I think it's like a 70 cents now, so it'll cost me $70. Uh, also, international mail, I want to go ahead and send it to you. An international envelope is $1.50. So um, if you could, you know, help with that, uh, that's a blessing. I'm taking uh, currency, my bank will take it from um, uh, Australia, from Europe, from Canada. That's for sure. I know that I can, you know, take those donations and then you'll have my information. Then once you donate, I'll send out my information so you can send money orders or checks. Amen. I'm just trying to plan ahead, trying to be one step ahead of the devil. They'll be watching our emails. They'll be taking us down from channels. So maybe the mail is the way to go. That's what all I know to do. We, the longer we're here, the more we're going to need each other. Amen, church. So embrace me, my child. You're going to like this word. There's a lot in it. And I'm going to read to you out of Luke chapter 14, 25 uh, to the end. I think it's 35. And this is Jesus speaking. Now, great multitudes were going along with him. And he turned and he said to them, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, and yes, even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. And this is what he's showing me in my own life. You better 
buck up, Jackie, and you better cling to me with, with everything you have. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which one of you, when he wants to build a tower, does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if he has enough to complete it. Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation and it is not able to finish, all who observe it will begin to re, uh, ridiculous, ridiculous him, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, when he sets out to meet another king in battle, will not first sit down and take counsel, whether he is strong enough with 10,000 men to encounter the one coming against him with 20,000, or else while the other is still far away, he sends a delegation and asks terms of peace. So therefore, no one of you can be my disciple who does not give up all of his own possessions. Therefore, salt is good, but even if salt has become tasteless with what, uh, uh, pardon me, let me go. This is 34. Therefore, salt is good. But even if salt has become tasteless, and what will it be seasoned? It is useless either for the soil or for the manure power. It is thrown out. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. So, you know, that's what he's showing me. And, you know, with these words, he goes through me first. Um, always he goes and he has been uh, just... Um, I don't want to say pounding me, but <laughs> I'm going to say it. He's been pounding me to get closer and closer to being more yielded, to be in the word, to be in prayer. Uh, I've been getting up earlier uh and I know it's for my own good. I know we're in these last days. I know I need more and more of him. The longer we're here, church, the more and more of his anointing, his power, his fire we're going to need. And you hear this from my mouth all the time, but uh, it, it's the truth. It's the truth. Amen. He show, he's working through me first. Amen. So embrace me my child my lamb is the enemy of god pardon me as the enemies of god rise up my people will begin to move more and more in power and more and more anointing the battles are fought in the valleys my people I'll read that again the battles are fought fought in the valleys my people just as in the end times the blood of men will spill in the valley meaning armageddon all evil will come to an end, my people. My lambs, be ready for the valley experience. I'm going to read it again. My lambs, be ready for the valley experience. You are the last church, my people, the final church, and you know it. You see it. You know my word. My lambs, do not fear these words. Embrace the truth. You are filled with my power, my spirit, and my glory. My lambs, now is the time to come as never before in the past. Lay down all of this world. Uh, leave it behind. Embrace me. Embrace me, my child. Lay down all of the world. Leave it behind. Embrace me. Embrace me, my child. When I am with you, who can be against you? Now is the time, to, my people, to ask for all of me glory. Fortify the walls I so freely give. Strengthen yourself in the gifts of the Spirit. So fortify the walls, strengthen yourself in the gifts of the spirit I so freely give. I'm sorry, I've reversed that. There's nothing we can do in or of ourselves. He is the giver of all the gifts. Amen. So uh, let's see, fortify your walls, uh, strengthen yourself in the gifts of my spirit I so freely give. Ask and you shall receive glory. Seek me early and seek me late. Know my word. I will leave you to all truths. Take you deeper and deeper in me. Time, my people, to shut yourselves away and seek the truth. You are surrounded by a world of lies and deceptions. You are surrounded by a world of lies and deceptions. The only truth you must hear now is my voice. Again, I'll repeat that. The only truth you must hear now is my voice. The truth from my pages of life. Without this deep fellowship, my people, you are in danger of being deceived. I'll read that again. That's important.
You are surrounded by a world of lies and discernment. The only truth you must hear now is my voice, the truth from my pages of life. Without this deep fellowship, my people, you are in danger of being deceived. It is written, even the most elect will be deceived. And that was out of Matthew. Shut yourselves away from this world, my lambs. Know me, seek to know me as never before. All of you, my people, all young and old, the enemy of the world, Rome about upon the streets. The lies will now begin to multiply more and more with each new day. He knows I come quickly for my bride. Come quickly, Lord. Oh, my lambs, do not fear these words of warnings. You have been chosen from the womb for this very day and time. I will use each new day for your growth in me. I love you so. My grace and mercy will abound and we'll see you through the days of head glory. So fear not all that I speak. I know the these words are right from the pages of life within your hands from all of time. You serve a resurrected God, a living God who saved you from death. So fear not when I speak of difficult days ahead for my church. Already you know you are growing in wisdom. Already you know you are growing deep in me, growing in knowledge. You see much upon the streets. You understand all the lies spoken. You now know even as I speak, there is no man that can change what is coming glory i'll read that again you know now even as i speak there is no man that can change what is coming you understand what the end is approaching fast glory to god Oh, my lamb, as you draw closer to me, I will take you deeper and deeper glory. Focus on me, my lamb. Spend more and more time with me. I have so much more for you. You are growing quick, quickly, but child, I have so much more ahead for you. Ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. You know from long ago you made your decision to serve, so fear not, my child. I am with you until the very end, my love. Then your new beginning for evermore glory and hallelujah so embrace me my little uh my little one hold tight uh like you would a new love my touch will comfort you will bring you renewed peace that's so beautiful so embrace me my little love hold tight like you would a new love my touch will comfort you will bring renew your peace and as i hold you i will take you to new depths in my spirit glory thank you lord there is nothing to fear in these last days my lamb i will be with you always i will lead you always my child i am so proud of you i know there is no place you would rather be but in my presence oh that's so beautiful my child i am so proud of you i know there is no place you you would rather be but in my presence so continue on in the fire of my spirit continue to stand for the truth touch those who would uh who are still dying pray for more of me watch with my eyes of discernment wait each word coming at you wait each word coming at you i love you make you wise beyond your years so embrace me even this day i know you are lonely for my touch. This is me, my beloved. It is I who places a hunger in you. I love you so, my little one. I love you so. What a beautiful word. Thank you, Lord. I'll read it again. Embrace me, my child, my lambs, as the enemy of God rise up, my people will begin to move in more and more power and more and more anointing. That's important, church. Hang on to that. The battles are fought in the valleys, my people, just as in the end of time, <clears throat> the blood of man will spill in the valley. All evil will come to an end by people. My lambs, be ready for the valley experience. You are the last church, my people, the final church. You know it, you see it. You know my words, my lamb. Do not fear these words, children. Embrace the truth. You are filled with my power, my spirit, my glory. My lambs, now is the time. Uh, to come to me as never before in the past, lay down all of this world, leave it behind, embrace me, embrace me, my child, when I am with you, who can be against you? Now is the time, my people, to ask for all of me, fortify your walls, strengthen yourself in the gifts of the spirit, I so freely give, ask and you shall receive glory, seek me early and seek me late, know my word, I will lead you to all truth, take you 
deeper and deeper glory. Time, my people, to shut yourselves away and seek the truth. You are uh, surrounded by words of lies and deception. The only truth you must hear now is my voice, the truth from my pages of life. Without this deep fellowship, without this deep fellowship, my people, you are in danger of being deceived. As it is written, even the most elect will be deceived. Shut yourself away from the world, my lambs. Know me, seek me to know me as never before. All of you, my people, all of you, young and old, the enemies of this world roam now openly upon the streets. The lies are now being multiplied more with each new day. He knows I come quickly for my bride. Oh, my lamb, do not fear these words of warning. You have been chosen from the womb for this very day and time. I will use each new day for your growth in me. I love you so. My grace and mercy will abound. We'll see you through the days uh, afresh. So fear not all that I speak. You know these words are right from the pages of life within your hands from all of time. Glory. You serve a resurrected God, a living God, who saved you from death. Glory. So fear not when I speak of the difficult days ahead for my church. Already you know you are growing in wisdom. Already you are growing deeper in me, growing in knowledge. You see much upon the street. You understand all of these lies spoken. You know even now as I speak, there is no man that can change what is coming. You understand the fast approaching and glory to God. So my lamb, as you draw closer to me, I will take you deeper and deeper. Focus on me, my lamb. Spend more and more time with me. I have so much more for you. You are growing quickly, but child, I have so much more ahead for you. Ask and you shall receive. You know from long ago you made your decision to serve, so fear not. I am with you until the very end, my love. Then your new beginning forevermore glory and hallelujah so embrace me my little one hold tight like you would a new love my touch will comfort you will bring you renewed peace as i hold you i will take you to new depths in my spirit there is nothing to fear in these last days my lamb thank you lord I am with you always. I lead you always. My child, I am so proud of you. I know there is no place you would rather be than to be in my presence. Glory. So continue on with the fire of the spirit. Continue to stand for truth. Touch those who are still dying. Pray for more of me. Watch with me with my eyes of discernment. Weigh each word coming at you. I I. I I will make you wise beyond your years. You embrace me even now this day. I know you are lonely for my touch. This is me, my beloved. It is I who places that hunger in you. I love you so, my little one. I love you so. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Almighty God. We love you. We praise you. We lift up holy hands, Lord. How could we make it? How could we make it without you, Lord? Of course we couldn't, Lord God. I pray for each one today, Lord God, and minister your love to them. May your grace and your mercy go before them, Lord God. May they go deeper and deeper, Lord God, as they seek you on bended knees. May they become more wise, more discerning. Lord God, by your spirit's leading, by your spirit's leading, all glory to the Lamb of God in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. God be with you. His light shine upon you. Leave your comments. Thank you for praying for us. And thank you for all your offerings and your kindness. God bless you. God be with you in Jesus' name.